Hi, and today I'm going to show you how we can add a blog to an Office 365 site. Now the first thing to say is we do this in a very similar way to how we would add a sub-site. So we're going to click on Site Contents on the left hand side and we're going to click on New Sub-site. The main difference here is we're going to give the blog a name, so we're going to give it a name in the same way we would um, any other sub-site, but I'm, I might call this class blog for example because that's what it is. We're going to give the blog a hyperlink, again the same as we would with the sub-site, so I'm just going to call it blog. The key difference here is the template we're going to use is the one that's named blog. Um, the difference being this is now completely set up and geared towards a blog. When we click team site that is just a general sub-site. The blog is specifically used for a blog then. Uh, we're probably going to leave user permissions alone and again it's up to you where you want this sub-site or blog site to appear. I'm just going to click both so you can see them both coming up and then I click create down the bottom. And Office 365 is now going to set to work adding this blog to my Office 365 site. Um, very quickly you'll see it's done that and we're now on the blog. Um, there's lots of different ways we can use this and I'll explain that in a later tutorial. But the, the main thing is we can add different categories in, so we can have uh, classwork, homework, project work, feedback, AFL. We can have all sorts of different categories and students can then use these tools to create posts and as a teacher I can then manage posts and comments and feedback to them. And that is how we add and use a blog on an Office 365 site.